Welcome to the first MACPA Lookout Post, where we talk about what you need to know as MACPA members right now. There are four big things that are happening right now that you need to know about. First is the Department of Labor Employee Benefit Plan Quality Study that did not give us good marks, and we'll talk about that in a minute. Second is the SCOTA, Supreme Court of the U.S., just recently issued a win case, the Maryland case, about deductibility of taxes, local taxes paid on Maryland returns. We're in the process of working on that one. Third is the war for talent is heating up. We'll talk about where that's coming from. And then fourth is the technology area. The cloud is now getting to be pretty bright, and we're going to have to start looking at how you think about that. The Department of Labor issued an employee benefit report just recently about the audit quality there. And we've been in D.C. meeting with Congress in a proactive way with the AICPA to talk about that. We've also been meeting with the State Board of Public Accountancy. Uh, and you can look for enhanced peer review in this area. This is a big quality issue. It's gotten worse in the last decade. And as a profession, we've got to pull that quality up. So I want to make sure you're all doing top-notch focus on quality and ethics. And if you're only doing a few of these returns, these employee benefit plan audits, you're going to need to make sure you've got the utmost quality or help outsource it to someone else. Stay tuned. We'll have resources on macpa.org for you. Second big issue is the SCOTUS win case. Supreme Court of the U.S. win decision went in the taxpayer favor against the comptroller. What that means is you're going to be filing amended returns to get refunds back for any of your clients who might have had deductibility of out-of-state taxes on the Maryland return. We're going to have a webcast coming up with that. We're working with the Maryland Chamber of Commerce to help them communicate to the business community. The third big item is the war for talent. Now, we've been talking about this for a long time, but in our managing partner think tank a couple of weeks ago, this boiled up to like the number one issue. It's been one that we've been anticipating, and we're doing a whole lot around that. So let me talk about a couple of the key things that are happening right now. So we have a major pipeline initiative in our STRAP plan that deals with building this pipeline of talent for you. That means bringing students through college, major in accounting, come out of college, sit for the CPA exam, and become great employees for you. Here are a couple of things we're doing on that. We've got a brand new how to take the CPA exam landing page that's been custom designed to help clear up the clutter so that these young people know what they need to do to get licensed in Maryland and take the exam. The second big piece is our Student Leadership Academy, brand new initiative this year. That's good. We've got like 20 or 30 students from 10 or 11 schools in uh, all over Maryland and out of state who are coming for two days at the end of June to learn leadership skills to make them better when they get into the employment situation. We also have the ongoing Leadership Academy. It's been moved to the end of summer. It's at the end of August. You can take your seniors and supervisors and managers and get them exceptional training, nationally recognized training, right here at home by MACPA. So look for that on our website. The fourth item is technology. You've heard, heard us talk a lot about that, but at the AICPA Spring Council meeting just a couple weeks ago, there was a, there was a research that said 61% of small and mid-sized businesses want to move to the cloud for their business and their accounting, and only 10% of CPAs are actually able, capable of helping them do that. So we think this is an area that you really need to focus on, both if you're business and industry or in practice. Our CPA Summit on June 23rd is designed to expose you to the top tech companies, what's happening in that, and to deal with all these shift change issues, changes in leadership, technology, workplace, generations, all those kind of burning issues are there, right there for you. We're going to have Ari Baylog, one of the executives of Google, runs their infrastructure and storage division. Like, think about what keeps him up at night. Anyhow, he's going to be talking about this age of technology disruption and what it means to CPA. So we're really excited about having him. And all of our big tech folks will be actually up there on a panel to answer your questions and get you future ready. So this is the end of our first Lookout Post. Look for more of these. We want to keep you up to speed on things that you need to know right now.